Hey folks, everything new under the sun. The video you're about to see is a quick overview of my uh, small solar panel array system using a power mister all-in-one uh, MPPT, charge controller, inverter, etc. Uh, it's a, a very small system that I hope to grow over time and uh, improve uh, the pieces of. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's have a look at the system uh, as I explain it. Here's a brief uh, look at the solar panel array. This is one of the arrays. I have another array over there uh, with two panels in it. Uh, it's a small setup by beginning, um, but these are 400 watt panels and I have these all in uh, series right now, uh, 40 volts each. Uh, uh, I think uh, 50 volt VOC um, to make up a to make up about 150 volts uh, going into the charge controller. Uh, or the uh, the power mister actually and I've got some cables down here which uh, which run the uh, the power to the uh, power mister unit this is a look at the the back of the panels they're obviously wired up in series big mess of cables um, need to tidy it up but it's kind of a temporary setup until I figure out exactly what I want to do but I've got them going into a PV uh, a combiner box um, just to uh, ensure that the two different arrays don't cause trouble with each other and uh, so that that's a nice box uh, which takes MC4 connections on the bottom uh, and you can you can just uh, it's plug and play and I'll open this box up this is what you need if you have uh, different arrays uh, to combine them um, again so there's no back feeding uh, voltage etc and it comes with a breaker and also uh, a ground which I actually don't have wired up yet this isn't 100% complete, but uh, this is a handy unit to have, weather sealed, um, and uh, a good breaker to have uh, at the outside. All right, this is a look inside the house. I've got uh, my main panel right here, 100 amp panel. Uh, I've got my solar wires uh, coming in here from the arrays, and I've got a completely off-grid secondary panel. It's not a sub-panel, it's actually the main panel for the power mister there. Um, there is no connection to the grid uh, other than this, which is a um, it takes power off the grid, but there is no power going onto the grid. So it's considered a, a basically an off-grid system. Um, and there's no back feeding to the grid uh, whatsoever with this setup. So I've got a 100 amp panel. I've got uh, my 48 volt power mister uh, unit. Uh, it basically has an inverter, a charge controller, uh, and uh, yeah, it's kind of an all-in-one uh, unit. And it also charges the battery off uh, your grid power as well, coming in from this uh, uh, grid in line. Um, so if there's no solar panel, it will automatically disconnect. It's like a UPS can be used as a whole home UPS. It disconnects uh, uh, the solar and uh, connects uh, your loads to um, uh, a grid power if you want. And this is a 48 volt uh, Renogy Smart Lithium Ion Phosphate Iron Iron Phosphate. Uh, uh, battery. Um, I've got one right now. It, uh, it's a 50 amp uh, amp hour unit. Uh, I would like more, uh, but uh, that's to come in the future. Uh, I will be upgrading this to an EG4, uh, but this, this unit is pretty good and I'll show you uh, the configuration of it. This power mister uh, generally, generally works pretty well. Uh, it is pretty much the cheapest uh, all-in-one unit you can get. All right, I cannot get this to focus, but uh, the, the top line here uh, is coming from the grid power and it's actually bypassing the battery now because the battery was low and the solar's, that's the solar panel is charging up the battery. Um, and uh, this unit uh, is fairly uh, fairly well built. Um, I, it's basically, uh, I believe, uh, uh, the base design of all the other ones, like the Grow Watt. Um, uh, what are the other ones? The EG4. Um, there's some other, I think, MPP Solar. They're all kind of the same setup, all same configuration, uh, maybe based off the same blueprints. And this Power Mister is kind of the cheapest, the lowest cost of them all. The only issue this one has is that sometimes you need to reset the incoming um, uh, solar power because the MPPT won't reset if the voltage, uh, you know, starts up in the morning at 50 volts and then climb up to 150 volts, uh, it doesn't always, the MPPT doesn't always reset to calculate that new higher voltage and, and then you, you're losing power. So that's a downside and that's kind of a known issue on the forums of the, the power mystery unit. Um, but otherwise it works flawlessly, it's never shut down, popped a breaker, uh, it provides uh, um, 
a good uh, power output uh, for my plugs. Now I have this uh, this extension cord, again off-grid, uh, but it's uh, plugged into my UPS, which powers my computers. And so far it works well. It also runs my well pump, although I, no I notice when my well pump starts up, it uh, um, my UPS will beep because there's a kind of a bit, a bit of a brownout situation um, when the well pump starts up. So you do need to separate your circuits in your, your panel a little bit um, to make sure they're, di they're uh, separate. The downside with the power mister is that uh, you can't have parallel units with the grow out. You can have a secondary one, so 3,000 watts here, 3,000 watts over there, and then run them to uh, separate lines uh, in the panel. Um, so I will be uh, upgrading to an EG4 just so I have that ability uh, if I want to expand this in the future, but this was a way to cut my teeth on. Um, I got this unit for about $400 Canadian. Uh, and uh, this battery will not power... Uh, uh, it, well, it will power my current loads um, over uh, night, but I don't have a lot of load on it. Maybe 100 watts it's got to power throughout the night. Uh, but once I get more circuits from the house onto it, um, it's not going to do that. Um, I'm going to have to buy another one of these and put them in parallel uh, or uh, get some other batteries to make up 48 volts. Now, the simpler way you could do this, uh, if this looks scary and complicated to people who don't want big solar arrays and a big mess of wires and... and uh, uh, a panel, uh, a box, um, a sub panel, or well, I guess it's a main 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 breaker panel. Uh, then you can go with this sort of unit. Uh, this is my uh, Jackery 1500, and I've spoken about this one on uh, the channel before. This works really well. This will run my well pump. It is an all-in-one unit. That's a little dark there, but um, I do have solar panels for this as well, about 400 watts, and uh, you can plug them in. It's got dual imp inputs for uh, solar panels, and it works well, but again, it only takes a max of 400 watts, so you need to consider that, uh, consider what you need to run, um, but this unit itself was about $2,000 to buy new, Canadian, um, so it's not cheap either. Um, none of these systems are cheap, but uh, considering what you're trying to do, you're basically trying to create a whole power system for your house, and so there's going to be some cost uh, into it. Um, in terms of hardware, wiring, uh, etc. So, yeah. So my review of Power Mister is, I think it's pretty much as stable and good as a grow watt or uh, EG unit. Um, uh, I ha have yet to get the Wi-Fi adapter that's in the mail. Um, the uh, app for that, that seems to be a little bit limited. Um, you know, it's based on, the app is based out of uh, China. And uh, I think you need to probably sign up for an account, etc. But the same for the EG4 um, all-in-one unit as well. So the advantage of these all-in-one units is that, you know, I could have an inverter over here, or a charge controller over here, and, uh, you know, and then out outlets and all this thing uh, there. Uh, but th and this unit is nice because it's all-in-one. Uh, you don't have to buy all those separate components. The downside, of course, is that if that box goes, uh, all your components go with it. Um, so there's a pros and cons to having kind of all-in-one units. Um, but that's that's what I'm looking at. That's my solar system right now. Um, max uh, panel wattage right now, I think, is, uh, uh, let's see, 2,000, uh, 2 kilowatts, 2,000 watts uh, of solar panels currently. And I'll, I'll, I'm able to grow that. Um, with the EG4, I'll be able to put up to 5,000 watts of uh, solar panels on it. So uh, more than double my current array uh, and uh, produce power. And uh, what this allows me to do is to uh, limit my power bill, uh, to offload um, uh, loads to this solar power. Um, and, you know, if there is no solar, this automatically flips over to grid power, so not a lot of downside. It, it seamlessly flips over to grid power uh, if you run out of batteries or there's no solar left. So it certainly is a, a good option for uh, kind of a grid down or starting to move off grid. Um, and it's not connected to the grid at all, other than that input, which is not considered a, a grid type thing. Um, there's no energy going back to the grid. And uh, the next step is going to be get a, get a generator input there so that I can actually start moving circuits from the grid uh, um, panel over to my little main panel for my solar um, so that I can power circuits in my house uh, legally um, by way of a, a generator um, a switchover box. 
So that's kind of the future of what I'll be doing. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video.